Today we're going to do a question from IEB exam 2016, paper 1. This is question 3 and the question is on finance. So we are given the following statement. It says, a cellular phone has a marked price of 4800 During a sale, a discount of 13.5 was offered. What is the selling price of the phone? So here, this is the original price here, which is 4800 And then the phone is on sale. So they, they, it's on sale, they're discounting it by 13.5. And then now we are required to find the selling price of the phone. So if you go to the shop now to buy the phone, the price that you'd pay to actually purchase the phone. So we start off by noticing the original amount or the original price of the phone. So original price is equal to 4,800 and then now the discounted amount this is going to be 13% of 4,800 so let me write it here Four thousand eight hundred times 13.5% so the discounted amount would be 13%, 13.5% of this amount of the original price. That when we calculate it, we get 648 rand. So this is the this is the this is the discounted amount of the phone. Now the selling price now, selling price It will be the original price minus the discount. So if you take the original price, you subtract the discount, you are going to be left with the actual uh, amount which the phone is sold by. So here we say original minus discount. So this becomes, we know that the original amount is 4,800 minus, and the discounted amount is 648. This gives us 4,152 rand. So if we were to go to the shop to buy the phone, you'd pay 4,152. Therefore, we need to put it in the statement. So we say, therefore, the selling price of the phone is 4,152 rand. That is part one of the question. Moving on to part B. So now part B says a small business owner was granted a loan for purchasing 100 cellular phones. He paid 4,800 less a discount of 13.5 for each phone. The loan had to be repaid in installments at the end of each month at an interest rate of 7% per annum compounded monthly. Calculate the monthly installments if the loan repayment period was five years. This is a very interesting question and uh, it involves uh, someone who took a loan, probably took a loan from the bank and then they purchased 100 phones. And then from them, we are required to find out as to how much are they going to pay per month to repay the loan. So, and the repayment period is five years. So now I want us to highlight all the important points that we're going to use in order to get to the answer. So this is what you'll need to do. So first of all, here, it, is, it has been indicated to us that it's a loan. So this is a very key word, a loan. It's a loan, therefore we need to highlight it. And then about, so the owner wants to buy 100 cellular phones. So 100 of them 
So 100 cellular phones is a, is a key word as well. And then we noticed that uh, this is the original price of the phone, but then now they paid, they got a discount of 13.5, so which is similar to um, question A, where we were calculating the, the selling price of the phone. Now, since uh, the small business owner is taking a loan, it's required to, to, to pay installments at the end of each month. So each month, so it's a monthly payment question. At an interest rate of, so the interest rate is given to us as 7% per annum compounded monthly. So this is a very key information as well. And then now it says calculate the monthly installments if the loan repayment period was five years. So the repayment period is five years here. So these are the key information that uh, we needed to write down. So now solving the question now, how many phones did the owner buy? So total phones is equals to 100. He bought or he purchased uh, 100 phones. And then the price per phone So because the owner got a discount of 13.5, so each phone will be 4,152. So it's similar to the previous uh, question. So this is going to be 4,152. So now the new price, excuse me, the, the total loan. So the total loan that the, the small business owner took from the bank, total loan will be 100 phones times the selling price per phone. So this is going to be 100 times 4152. So this becomes 415 200 so this amount here is what the owner or the business owner uh, is going to take from the loan so that's how much loan they're going to take from the bank rather so loan amount is Four hundred and fifteen thousand two hundred, and then n. So the repayment period here it is here. So the the payment period will be five years. So that that is our n. So n is going to be five. And then the interest rate is given to us as seven percent per annum, compounded monthly. So interest rate will be 7% per annum compounded monthly. So now um, the payments will be made at the end of each month. At the end of each month. So this is a monthly payment question. So our M is going to be 12 because we have 12 months in one year. So they, they're going to make 12 payments in one year. So as I've already mentioned that this is a loan question. So the owner is taking a loan, therefore it's a present value question. So this is the keyword. This keyword here, it tells us that this is a present value question. So now P, this is the formula now. The formula looks like this.
So this is the present value or the loan. So this is the same as this amount here. So this is P. And then this is the monthly installments. So this is what we're looking for. We're looking for X, which is the monthly installment. And then I is the interest rate, which is 7%. M is the, is the number of payments per year. So we have 12 payments per year because they're paying monthly. And then uh, lastly, N is the period, period of payment, which is, which is five years. It's given to us as five years. Therefore, now we can substitute the information that we know and then manipulate the equation to find the information that we don't know. So we have 415200 is equals to. Now because we're looking for x, I'm going to write it in, in red with a different color. So 1 minus 1 plus 7% divide by 12 to the power of minus 5 times 12. Then we divide the whole numerator by 7% over 12. Let me put in brackets like that. So is this part here. And then I'm going to cross multiply and then manipulate this in such a way that x is the subject of the formula. Therefore, x is going to be 415200 times 7%. divide by 12 and then divide the whole numerator by 1 minus 1 plus 7 percent over 12 to the power of minus 5 times 12 so therefore this becomes becomes Eight two two one point four six. So X is equals to eight thousand two hundred and twenty one point forty six cents. So now this implies that the business owner, the owner, will pay. 8,221.46 cent per month. 